The Bandit is the name of this license plate bracket. This, this one's for the Model 3. He actually made one for the Model X. Look how much material is in there. What's up everybody? I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and today I'm going to show you a product I showed you before in the past. Made by a good friend of the channel who's actually made quite a few things for the shop here. My light up sign here and the newest installation is this countertop. Let me show it to you. You might have saw this in my video of the meetup that we had out in California. Tony Pham made this acrylic top a lot like he made this light up sign, Tesla lo that Tesla logo there. The sign thanking my Patreon supporters. Thank you. He also made this light up parking sign. I have that light and this light on a motion sensor. So when I walk in here, those things turn on automatically. Those are LED lights. Uh, so are these lights. These are LEDs, but I don't have to turn all these lights on just to get something in here that, that puts enough light in here, which is awesome. Uh, he made something else. Ah, those tumblers. This is one I had this morning. There's ones that say I want Tesla, but this one I used for this morning's coffee. Uh, it says, don't be a boring gas hole. Tony is an awesome dude, and he developed a product uh, for your front license plate. He is the maker of the Bandit license plate bracket. This light, the front license plate bracket for the Model 3. This has new hardware, so it doesn't uh, corrode or anything like that, but this piece clamps onto the frame or the grill up front there, right in front of the louvers. Uh, you know, there's front license plate brackets that cover, that come down and cover that front area. Well, you don't want to cover that front area because you need airflow into those louvers, which that's what cools the battery and that's what cools the motors. So, uh, cools the coolant for the motors. And the way the front license plate ma bracket mounts, I think I have one around here. I'm not sure which one it is. Well, this one was to the Model S. This one had two screws underneath it and then this bracket was double-sided taped to the car and I think there's yeah there's three holes here that this screws onto once this is stuck to the car. Yeah this one is for the Model X. It doesn't match the car at all as far as uh, well, that's weird. It actually stays away from the car. I don't like that one and this one is for the Model 3. Just double-sided tape, hard edges and all these, all these edges are going to get dirt in there, and you can see this has already got dirt in there. Rub on the paint, and it's going to cause issues. So if you sell your car to somebody that doesn't need a front license plate bracket, like North Carolina here, we don't need a front license plate bracket, this, these things will cause damage. A lot of people like to clean behind things. You can't do that with these. You can't take this off, because then you need dub more double-sided tape, and it's, it's just a pain in the butt. I probably should have put this in the car when I traded it in. Oops. So Tony came up with this bracket so it stays away from the car. Let me show you the box. You can see right there on the box. Where am I at? You can see right there on the box. And actually, I got a video of his car. Uh, you can see his car. It stands out just far enough where you can get a rag back there. You can clean back there. And it's sturdy enough where it's not going to hit the car. This is not going to flex and hit the car. This is super strong. Oh my god. This is really strong. It's kind of overbuilt. Uh, Tony is, that's, that's the type of person Tony is. He makes things that are going to last. He CNC routers everything out. These are made by him in his shop. These things are pretty awesome. You know, he sold a bunch of these. A lot of you guys have these. There's enough give in the plastic so if someone bumps into you, it's going to give. The Bandit is the name of this license plate bracket. This, this one's for the Model 3. He actually made one for the Model X. It's a little bit lighter because this has to come out a little bit farther. And look how look how much look how much material is in there. There's this is really strong plastic, and it's not going to give flex or anything. This is this is rock solid stuff, man. And same hardware, a little wider design because it's out farther, so it's nice and secure. He just started coming out with these for the Model X. If I needed a front license plate bracket here in North Carolina. I definitely would have one of these on there. He gave me this one while I was out in California and it's super easy to install. Let me show you what it looks like on the Model X and then I'll show you what it looks like on the Model 3. So it's really easy to find center. It's, there's a center divider here in the grill itself and back in there are the louvers. So this bracket, these stay into place. You also in the kit you get a long Allen wrench to 
uh, tighten everything down. And there's extra screws in here to fit into these. So what we want to do, we just want to kind of put it in place. And then as we put it in there, we're going to tip this sideways to fit it in. It's probably very hard for you to see this, but I'm going to try to do my best to show it to you. But I'm just going to put those to the side. And without bolting it down, let me show you. I don't know if you can see, this is not bolted down yet. I mean, you can see the gap that we have there. Once it's bolted down, this will be about that area. So you have uh, 3 eighths to a half inch gap between the paint and the license plate bracket itself, which gives it space to kind of move back a little bit when you have the force of driving. Or if someone backs into your bumper and you can see the hardware in there, and you can see those louvers, what, what you need to have open. Um, the louvers are back behind there. This is just a grill that you're bolting to. And you can see the bracket comes down. You'll run this extra screw right into the bottom half in that hole there. It's the same process on the Model 3. Let me show you. All right, so this car is a little lower than the Model X, but same concept. You want to push these things to the side. And of course, center is the center piece here. Uh, there's always a center line on both cars, or all three cars actually. So what you want to do is you get the, you get those brackets to go through the top area and then it's pretty much in place. If you don't want to just trust my uh, directions, it does come with directions. But in here, take the Allen key. We're gonna snug the top one in place. Don't make it super tight. You probably can't see it, but let me pull you in here. You wanna be able to have the bracket straight down so it lines up with the hole on both sides. So when you put the other screw in there, it fits nice and tight. Take the washer and the lock washer, just like the top piece. Start with the lock washer first and then the washer. Probably easier to Put, it, put the Allen wrench on it now. Since you lined up the hole, it's really easy to just cinch this down. Cinch, is that a word? Tighten this. Again, leave it a little loose until you get the second one. But the, si the other side is just like this one. And then once you have both sides done, line this up, center it. And then what I like to do is lift it up so it's off of the bumper, or in this case, the splitter, and then tighten it down on both sides on the bottom and then work your way to the top and tighten the top down. Since this is a pretty big bracket in the back, you can actually put this pretty tight without worries of cracking that plastic. And you can see this will move quite a bit without any damage to anything. It's not gonna fall apart. So here is the top view of that. You can see it's, it's inside my splitter actually. So it doesn't stick out much. This has a nice gap where you can actually get a rag back there, clean back there. It's still far enough away right there where you're gonna, it's not gonna touch the car. And once you put your license plate on there, it'll be like your license plate's floating on the front of the car. But you might be asking yourself, self, what happens if you launch your car? Now this isn't a performance, so not too worried about the initial jolt with that, but what if you're driving about 70 miles an hour down the highway? Well, let's set up a GoPro and see what happens. As you can see here, the the license plate doesn't move back very much at all. I've launched the car a bunch of times here. I got up to 80 miles an hour. Uh, I start and stopped a bunch. I was turning. I got on some rough road that doesn't shake very much at all. And so it's gonna support the license plate. It's also gonna look cool and be able to clean the bumper behind the license plate. And that's, that's a cool key feature. So as you can see, the front license plate bracket, the Bandit, is a really awesome product. If, you, if you're looking, if you have to have a front license plate bracket, and first of all, I'm sorry that you have to have one, but second of all, make it look a little different than everyone else's. Pick up the Bandit, check it out anyway. There's a discount code down below. Remember what the discount was. It's Cyber Bandit. It's $10 off anything he sells. Those tumblers, these things. $10 off these tumblers as well. Anything he sells on his website, check him out. Uh, I'll have a link down below because you're not going to write it down, of course. Click the link, uh, support Tony, and help him support your license plate. That was kind of dumb. That's not his tagline. That was kind of dumb. That's my fault. But check him out. It's a great gift for the holidays. So check out the link down below. But also, stay awesome, stay positive. Always stay awesome, stay positive. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.